Hey guys, Nick Keller, Greg Barak, Atlas Premier Realty, coming to you with another video blog. Uh, today we wanted to chat with you and how you can save thousands in your mortgage interest over the course of time. Uh, so when you buy a house, you're, you're usually spreading it out with a 30 year mortgage. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you pay the minimum each month, uh, you're paying back hundreds of thousands of dollars over 30 years if you stay in the house 30 years mm -hmm. in interest. Yep. Uh, just for example, if you have a $250,000 house and a 5% interest rate, over 30 years, if you just make the minimum payment, you're gonna pay back $230,000 in interest. Just in interest. It's almost the full amount of the purchase price right. you're paying in interest. So you're basically paying $500,000 for a $250,000 house. Right. How does pretty, that make you feel? It's pretty daunting and yeah. scary. Yeah. And I don't like it. So one of the ways that uh, is commonly uh, talked about to reduce this, the first way, well, overall, you have to get the principal amount down as fast as possible right. because the interest rate is applied to the principal balance. So the faster you can get your principal balance down, the less interest you'll pay over time. So one way that people do that, and so it's less daunting and not big chunks, is they'll, they'll divide an entire payment a one month payment over 12 months and then pay that extra amount every month. That way, essentially you're paying one full extra payment right. every year. And there's different numbers that have come up, but yeah. uh, you know, sometimes it, you know, they're essentially say you can knock eight to 10 years off I've of your mortgage. That. Yeah, right around seven years. Yep. So for example, if you have a $1,200 a month mortgage, divide that by 12 months in a calendar year, you just add an extra $100 a month, you pay $1,300 each month instead of the 12, you're knocking seven to eight to 10 years off your mortgage and cutting down that interest expense over time. Right, the, ne it, the, next, the next way is, is really not necessarily about how much or one full payment, it really comes down to your own personal finances. So if you can afford an extra $25 or an extra $50 mm -hmm. or an extra $200 a month, whatever you can budget for and consistently do, pay above and beyond your mortgage payment, most mortgages, check your mortgage uh, details, but most mortgages don't have uh, prepayment penalty. So no, you can right. pay as much as you want above and beyond the mortgage amount. So if you can afford 50 bucks a month, great, do it. You're gonna gain that back right. by paying down directly to your principal amount. Every little bit helps, right? Yep. Uh, the third reason, or the third way of going about it is just to do a lump sum. Mm -hmm. And that's usually a little more painful for most people. But for instance, tax time's coming up. Uh, you get a tax refund and you wanna allocate some of that to pay down some of the principal on your mortgage throw that into the next month's mortgage. Uh, the key with any of these tactics though, is you have to make sure that you're specifically allocating that to go towards uh, principal. And you can usually do that online or check off a box on the statement voucher itself. Um, but I guess the point of this is, is that in any way that you can, mm -hmm. go ahead and try to put it down. If it's 25 bucks a month, just do 25 bucks. If it's right. 200, do 200. If it's Dividing by 12 and, 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 and allocating that equally over each mortgage payment, do that. But right. something's better than nothing. Imperfect activity beats a perfect plan. Um, just try to pay that down so that you're not costing yourselves hundreds of thousand dollars in interest. And like we've said in a previous video, if you can get that equity amount to the point where you can right. take out an equity line of credit, then maybe you can start working towards building an investment portfolio. Well, thanks for watching. Um, as always, we're trying to make a positive generational impact. Uh, we do that with these these videos and our expert guidance, um, our unwavering support, and our community connections. So you can help further our mission and making an impact in the communities that we serve just by supporting us. If you know of any friends or family that are looking to make a move, please keep us in mind. Uh, Till next time, thank you for your support, and we'll see you then. Thanks.